Hey everyone! Welcome back to another casual English practice session. Today, we're talking about something super relatable deciding what to wear for an event. In this chat, we have Mike, a laid back guy who's all about going with the flow, and Jake, who tends to overthink his outfit choices. This conversation is perfect for English learners looking to improve their everyday speaking skills. We'll explore how they decide on outfits and handle wardrobe indecision. Don't forget to share your own experiences in the comments below. So, Jake, when it comes to deciding what to wear for an event, how long do you usually spend picking out an outfit? Is it something you start thinking about days in advance? Oh man, it totally depends on the event. For something big, like a wedding, or a fancy party, I'll start planning days in advance. I don't want to get it wrong, you know? I can spend hours browsing through my wardrobe, trying to figure out what fits the vibe. For casual stuff, though, I usually just throw something on, but I still want it to look decent. That makes sense. I usually go with my gut feeling and pick something that feels comfortable. Do you ever overthink whether it's appropriate for the event? Absolutely. I get stuck in my head about it. Like, I want to look sharp but not overdressed. Sometimes, I think about what others might be wearing, and it drives me crazy. I mean, I want to feel confident, but then I worry about standing out too much. It's such a hassle, especially when you just want to enjoy yourself. I hear you. There have been times when I've overthought my outfit too. Do you ever try on multiple outfits before settling on one? Oh, for sure. I'll try on like three or four different looks and I end up feeling even more confused. I'll stand in front of the mirror asking myself if this looks good or if I should switch it up. It's like a mini fashion show in my room, and sometimes I even take selfies to see how it looks from different angles. It can be exhausting, but kind of fun. Ha <laughs> ha, that sounds like a scene. Do you ever get advice from friends or family, or do you prefer to make the decision alone? I definitely ask for input. I mean, it's great to get a second opinion, especially from someone who knows me well. But sometimes I feel like I'm bugging them too much. I might show them two or three options, and then I still end up going with what I initially wanted. I think it's because deep down I know what works for me, but hearing someone else's thoughts helps ease my mind. Yeah, I can relate. I sometimes check in with my sister or my girlfriend, but I'll often wear what I feel comfortable in. But once I've left the house, I occasionally second guess myself. Totally. I've changed my mind right after stepping out. I'll look down and think, why did I pick this? It's like my brain has a meltdown. But I've learned to take a deep breath and remind myself that most people are probably too focused on their own outfits to notice mine. That helps a bit. That's the worst. Do you ever worry about how you'll look in photos from the event? Oh man, yes. I always think about how my outfit will come across in pictures. I want to look good not just in real life, but also in those Instagram shots. I mean, everyone's snapping pics nowadays, right? It's like if I end up looking awkward or my outfit doesn't pop, it can ruin my whole night. Right. I've felt that pressure too. Sometimes, I'll even change outfits just for the sake of looking good in photos. It's kind of silly when I think about it. It's all part of the game. But then, when I arrive at the event, 
and see what everyone else is wearing, my confidence can take a hit. I might see someone in an outfit I love and feel like I should have gone with something bolder. I get that. It's like you walk in and everyone's got their own style going on. Does that ever make you feel insecure about your choice? Definitely. I'll catch a glimpse of someone in a killer outfit and I'll start to doubt myself. But then I remind myself that everyone's got their unique flair and I shouldn't compare. Plus, I've had moments where I've admired someone's outfit and then later found out they were self-conscious about it too, so that helps keep things in perspective. That's a solid way to look at it. Once you settle into the event, do you usually feel comfortable and glad you stuck with your choice? Yeah, once I'm mingling and having a good time, I forget about my outfit. I'm usually just glad I didn't get too crazy with my look. It's all about enjoying the moment. Plus, when people compliment my outfit, it boosts my confidence even more. Exactly. And honestly, I think, if you feel good in what you're wearing, it shows. Have you ever had a wardrobe malfunction, though? Oh gosh, yes. Once, I wore these cool shoes to a wedding, but they were a size too small. By the end of the night, my feet were killing me. I had to take them off and go barefoot on the dance floor. Not the best look, but I just went with it. It turned out to be a great icebreaker, though. Everyone laughed when they saw me dancing without shoes. That's a classic. I've had my own disasters too. I wore this new shirt once, and it ripped right before I left for an event. I had to scramble for something else at the last minute. That's wild. But you know, those stories are often the funniest. It makes for a good laugh later on. It's kind of a bonding experience to share wardrobe fails with friends. Totally. But back to choosing outfits, do you have any go-to pieces you rely on? For sure. I have a couple of classic button-up shirts and nice jeans that I know work in almost any situation. They're my fail-safe. I love that I can dress them up with a blazer or dress them down with a casual jacket. It's all about versatility. I'm all about the comfy yet stylish combo, like a nice t-shirt with a blazer. It's a simple look but feels polished. That's a smart move. Blazers can elevate any outfit. It's like you're dressed up but still chill. Plus, you can throw in some fun accessories to really make it pop. Exactly. And I can switch it up with different shoes or accessories. Keeps it fresh. Speaking of accessories, how much thought do you put into those? I'd say it depends on the event. For something casual, I might just throw on a watch or a simple bracelet. But for a formal event, I'll go all out, nice cufflinks, maybe even a pocket square. That's slick. I usually skip the accessories, unless it's a big deal. But I've been trying to step up my game a bit. I think a cool belt or some unique socks can really add flair without going overboard. It's worth it. Accessories can really tie an outfit together. Plus, it shows you care about your look. For sure. So, what advice would you give someone who struggles with outfit choices? I'd say, go with what makes you feel good. Try on a few things, but don't overthink it. You don't want to stress out and miss out on enjoying the event. 
That's solid advice. I dare to just own your style. Whether it's simple or extravagant, wear it with confidence. People will notice that more than the outfit itself. Plus, it can be helpful to try on outfits in natural light. It makes a huge difference in how colors and styles come across. Absolutely. And if all else fails, just bring a backup outfit. You never know when you might need it. A wardrobe savior. It's always good to have a plan B, just in case. Well, I think we've covered a lot about outfit decisions today. I hope our viewers found it helpful. Yeah, for sure. And I hope they share their own outfit struggles in the comments. It's always fun to see how others approach these dilemmas. Thanks for sharing your insights, Jake. It's been awesome chatting about how to tackle wardrobe decisions for events. Absolutely, Mike. I hope everyone found our discussion helpful and relatable. Remember, confidence is key. If you enjoyed this conversation, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'd love to hear your outfit dilemmas or tips in the comments.